Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott. I'm here in Junction City, Oregon at Garrity RV Super Centers today to show you a wonderful trailer. This is a trailer that's near and dear to my heart. I've been selling these things since they first came into the market and the one I own is from the same company. This is an Arctic Fox 25W, well known for its quality. It's a four seasons trailer. It's great in real hot weather and even if it's well below freezing, it's great for elk hunting and stuff like that hand built right here in Oregon. This is one of the last independent companies in the entire industry. Uh, almost everything you look at is built by two big companies and there are very few independents left in the market, but they can do things that other companies just don't do. So I really love the Arctic Fox. Let me show you this one inside. This is the 25W and the 25W is kind of a rear kitchen trailer. It's got a, a really interesting floor plan because what happens is that we have the galley in the back and our seating area is in the middle and the seats are across from each other. So this has a really good social area. Most trailers, everybody sits on one side of the trailer and just looks across, but this one here, people are gonna be on both sides. So again, we have a solid surface countertop, got a lot of space, got these great big double stainless sinks. One thing you see on this that's quite unusual is it has a much deeper refrigerator. This has a 10 cubic foot fridge. You see how it comes out? It's got a lot more room. It's a Norcold, it's a really good fridge. It's got a deep basin in it. So if you have any ice that you forget about, it isn't gonna come sloshing out at you when you open your door. Got a beautiful oven with glass stop in front, stainless steel package. One thing that's nice about these shaker style cabinets they're all solid. This is a solid lumber cabinet door. These are all real. It's not just vinyl wrap. Beautiful looking rig. And then uh, here we talk about the dinette. This has a dream dinette. And the thing that I love about these, and I have one on mine, if you look underneath, there's no metal posts where your feet want to be. See? So everybody can get in here with their big feet and the, the traveler that's on the wall is how it goes up and down. So it's very easy to make this into a bedding area too. Over here, we have the Thomas Payne seats and you see a lot of rigs using these now. They're very popular. They've got a cup holder. They've got all kinds of little gadgets you can use that get hot. They vibrate. And there's a little post here and there's a table that sits here. So it's like a little TV tray, it's part of it. And then we also have storage area right here for all of your stuff. And so that's really nice. So we've got a great living space with a lot of light. You'll notice that we don't have the dark colors that we've been so prevalent in this industry. We've got skylight. We've got a high capacity exhaust fan, which is worth its weight in gold in here because it gets your trailer dried out. Believe it or not, there's three of those in this coach. Now, with this one, they made the slide out a little longer than most trailers, so they have room for this extra storage. And so this storage is hanging and shelving. There's actually an outside cabinet that corresponds to this space. Huge amount of outside storage too. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So the bathroom is really nice in here. You've got two medicine cabinets, porcelain toilet, glass uh, shower enclosure, another big exhaust fan. It's just really, really well done. And the Jack and Jill design is great because if you have guests, they can get in here and, main, and you maintain your privacy and so do they. So that's why we have doors on both sides. You come up here, we've got a residential queen size bed. And incidentally, most trailers don't put very good mattresses in their coaches. This is a really nice mattress. There's a good chance you're gonna be just fine with it. It's also got lots and lots of storage in the front. One other thing about this coach I haven't mentioned yet is that because it's desired to be climate uh, everywhere, hot, cold, and everything, this has dual pane glass. You're not gonna find that on pretty much any trailer that you're looking at, especially in a smaller size. Lift this up. We got a gob of storage. And they even made some lawn chairs for the guy that buys this. You get special chairs if you buy this, it's nice. Okay, let's take a quick look outside. When we look at the outside of an Arctic Fox, we see many, many things that separate it from other trailers. But some of it you can't see. Like for example, this is made 
with its own chassis design. These guys actually manufacture their own chassis. They don't buy them from a big chassis company. And so their chassis are designed for each rig. And they're cambered. They're cambered like this, so they act as a natural shock absorber. They're very strong. The suspension itself even has its own shock absorbers. So this is one of the very few trailers in the market with a full suspension underneath it. Typically trailers just have straight axles and leaf springs. So this is very, very nice. We have on both doors these new solid steps, which I like. We have the power awning here. One thing that's really nice about this awning is that unlike most awnings, I can adjust the length of this leg or that leg so I can set my awning so it comes out at a pitch that's going to give me water runoff. Most trailers, you don't adjust these legs this way and this makes it very easy to run it in and out. You don't have to worry about resetting it all the time unless you want to. Look at the size of this cabinet. This is your front storage. One of the things you'll notice on most trailers is that you wouldn't even be able to put a cooler in the front storage area. This is quite a bit taller up front here. Also it has its own battery disconnect that's in there and it's a lighted compartment. So we come to the front of the trailer, it's very, very important. We have a full fiberglass enclosure on this. This is a big upgrade and these guys have this, this is gel coat fiberglass. This is like putting the hull of a boat on the end of your trailer. It encloses all the corners, edges and seams and makes it much more reliable. This is a great feature. Power tongue jack, big bottles. We always provide two batteries for our customers at no additional charge along with a whole bevy of services to get you on the road. One thing about Guarantee, you make your deal on the trailer, it's going to include all the premium services you need to make sure your trailer works properly and you know how to use it. Okay, now we come back here. I want to show you something that you won't see on other trailers. If you look right here, there's two gaskets. Most trailers just have one. This has an inner seal and an outer seal. So when I close this, it closes flush. I've got double gaskets. What is the likelihood that you'll have two gaskets that leak in the same place? It's almost not, it's, it's not imaginable. I've had one of these exact same slide outs for 10 years, never leaked a drop. They're very, very good. This is that outside compartment I wanted you to see. Why don't you come on this side? Now, nobody's really got this. This is a big outside compartment with shelving. The shelving's removable, so if I want to put other stuff in there, I can do it. I can put tall stuff in there. That's just great. Okay, and you look back here, you see, look at this ladder, how heavy duty that ladder is. And it's got a rack on the roof for storage, and this is a fully walkable roof. This has a fully trussed roof with 3 8 exterior grade tongue and groove plywood on the top, and of course the one piece seamless membrane. And you can go up there, you can remove debris, you can check your seals. It's all strong enough to get up and walk on. This is a very, very good trailer. I love mine, and I think you would love one of these too. We have a, a broad selection of floor plans. We've carried this company since they first came into the market. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough on the Arctic Fox 25W. If you have any questions, I'd love to show it to you in person or talk to you on the phone. You can reach me at 541-954-8495. I'm Matt Elliott. Thanks for watching.